Right, this is Tayo Shalagbadi and I'm going to demonstrate quickly to you how in this uh, short video how to use um, create a macro that will enable you format any currency you want um, on your spreadsheet. So this is just an introduction screen that tells you um, where my Facebook page is and also my Excel Heaven Solutions Development website where I have details of how you can join my Excel Heaven Visual, Visual Basic Club. Right, I'll just go on now. I mean, your needs might be different, but I have an invoice I use to pre to send out um, a document I use to send out invoices to my clients or buyers wherever they are in any part of the world. I mean, I have buyers from different parts of the world, and every once in a while I do have to give. For instance, when I'm in Benin, Benin Republic, I have to. I, I get some clients who will tell me they want the currency spelled out or the amounts, okay, stated in there. If I want to retain that, they, want me, they, they say they don't have a problem with that, but they want it in the uh, Benin Republic currency as well, which is um, CFA, all right, FCFA. So how do you, I mean, make your, how do you f do that conveniently without having to go through a lot of steps? Well, the best thing is to record it in a macro. So the first thing I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to do it manually, and then you can decide if you want to do it. Uh, you can then do it, uh, and then I'll show you how to do it with using a, a macro. Okay, so let's say that you can see that the figures here, it's, let me just bring the formula bar here. You can see this is 8,000, this is 12,000. It's supposed to be in Naira, but right now I haven't formatted it with any currency. And you see here the sum of what is here. You know, Excel is very friendly, so it ignores the text. And then I have uh, revised total here with deducts, whatever discount is. If I enter a discount of 1,000 here, you see that that drops to 19,500. Just to show you there's a formula there. Okay, sorry. All right, so I'm working on this manually. And then here is supposed to be another formula. I'll just quickly create that. Okay, well, I think I'll just do that minus this. Okay, and then delete that. And so now the thing is, it's all looking nice. It shows uh, here I have it in text 25,000 naira, um, 20,500 naira. But the thing is, I've got to get it, I want to get it to show the symbol for the naira here. So what you do, I just highlight the entire range of that I want to use, and then you go here the number okay and then go to custom uh, let me see let me pick this use this uh, these are the formats the custom formats and I want the Naira sign to be appended to each value that appears in any of the cells I have set in the range of cells I've selected okay it's a very simple thing then you click OK and you can see that straight away they all have it now take a look it's actually still you see that's a formula this is just the raw value but you do not have the form the sign showing there so if for instance I were to change this to 25,000 okay it still appends the Naira sign to it uh, now okay so this is for Naira so if I want to do dollars if I want to do it in dollars that means I have to re repeat the same process okay so the question is what can I do to make it so much easier I mean instead of having to go through all those steps I just went through So, you've watched the first clip in which I did the manual um, formatting of the range of cells, this one's here, to show the Naira sign. Let me just show you that again. Uh, what I did was basically to go here, and then I, uh, okay, I did what you can see, I've done the one for FCFA. Uh, in other words, so these are currencies that normally are not displayed in the options available in a uh, Excel, but then if I wanted to display it in euros, I would just do that. Um, so you can see in British pounds, it would change, uh, US dollars, it would change, Japanese yen, it would change, you know. And then, you know, I, if I wanted, however, to show the display my invoice um, summary, the values on it, if I wanted to display it in any other currency, like, like I said, the Nigeria Naira, then I would have to use this. Okay, I formatted that myself. Now, if I go back to that. Um, as I showed you in the first clip, I could just add a little space so that there's a space between the symbol and the value. Or you can see that separates. I mean, but think of all the steps I had to go through. I click here and then I do this and, and all that. Well, what if I just had some buttons I could click a drop menu to uh, do it? So that's what I've created here. If you look at these buttons here, uh, you could click any of them to generate the 
symbol for the equivalent value and it would instantly format this column which is where you have your values that you want to display in your invoice uh, as I showed you in the first clip this is the invoice I use normally to send uh, and I send to clients and so I just use it for this demonstration so if I wanted to have this in euros you can see that it changes straight away Nigerian Naira, Naira US dollars British pounds French, F French CFA you can see the way it happens it changes within a few <laughs> seconds and the same thing here I could use the drop menu Nigerian Naira European Euro, US Dollar, British Pound, French CFA. Right. How I did that is what I'm going to teach. Uh, well, I'm going to demonstrate to you in the clip that you will get when you send me an email at uh, by t a y o at t k s o l a dot com. Remember, I want your name, your phone number, your email address, and your country. You know, uh, just send it to me uh, by that email address tayo at tksole.com and i will send you in your email the link to download the, p the zipped folder containing the short video in which i d i actually take you through the steps by which i did this or i created these buttons and then put the code behind them um, to make this happen so you will be able to do this in any spreadsheet you you want to you know once you understand the basics you'll be able to apply it in any way you want but the idea is that for me now if i want to generate this um, invoice in anybody's currency i want to format it to display certain currency at least for these currency that I, t I tend to use a lot all i have to do is click a button and it will happen all right and uh, if you want to be able to do something like that in any of your spreadsheets or even do it for friends or for clients uh, get across to me tayo at tksola.com my name is tayo shalagbadi you can check me out on www.xlheaven.biz uh, which is here or you can also go to tarashlibrary.com and you can check join my fan page on Facebook, tarashlibrary.com slash FBK. Okay, your my Excel Heaven page is there. You can join uh, my fans and then you can have access to more uh, latest updates about what I'm doing and new tutorials I offer. Cheers.